First of all, thanks for having me. It's a really difficult market right now. You know, we I think really the Fed is the driving factor. We've got, I think, pretty decent earnings. I know, you know, it's mixed, but when I look at about 20% of the companies that have reported so far, I'm seeing about 70% or more have actually surprised to the upside on earnings, and more than half of those companies have surprised to the upside on revenue. That's really strong. But again, the Fed, with its hawkish tone, with its threats of a half a point or maybe three quarters of a point rate hike in the future, that's really weighing on the market. You know, the Fed's got a really difficult balancing act to try to fight inflation while make sure that, making sure that, that growth doesn't slow down too much. And I think that's really the overarching tone in the market today. Yeah. And even to that point, you're still looking at a stock like Google and thinking it's a decent time to buy. Why not wait? Why not wait it out a little bit? Yeah, I mean, here's what my take is, right? Like, we're in the midst of earnings season. We know that Google's reporting today, and a lot of the tech earnings have not been great. Like, Netflix is sort of the, you know, the, the, the one stock that folks are looking to and saying, look, we expect tech earnings to be bad. I would suggest that folks think about each company individually. Don't just lump everything together because it's got a similar sort of technology bent. Uh, Google, I think, is going to really benefit from all of the bad stuff that's going on with Meta in the sense that, you know, folks who would normally be spending advertising dollars on places like Meta will, will likely go to Google for now mm -hmm. until all of the privacy things change. And so I, I expect Google's earnings to be good this quarter. And I, I think Google also has the, the benefit of being a company where the, the share price has been relatively stable. Earnings have been earnings growth has been relatively stable. And I think investors are going to look at a, a stock like Google and say this is a pretty safe play. So what would your parting words of advice, Alan, be to investors who say, OK, maybe there's some tactical opportunities like a Google. But overall, do I need to hustle to get into this market, which is down 11 percent, let's call it, off of the all time highs for the S&P? Or are we in the middle of a minus 20 percent move where I could see a better entry point? Yeah, I'd say be patient, you know, maybe pick your spots, buy a little now, buy a little tomorrow. You know, inflation is so high that you, if you decide to just sit in cash, sit on the sideline, you're really losing money today. And the inflation environment really encourages risk taking. It encourages us to invest in stocks. And I think that over the long term, stocks will be the place to go. But in the short run, in these next 90 days, it's going to be a little bit of a rough ride. So just buckle up. Yeah, even even since Dom said we were off the lows, we are heading back down towards them. Uh, we're getting kind of used to this. Alan, great to have you today. Thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.